Hello and welcome back to Coco Sleep, your podcast of original children's bedtime stories and meditations designed to make bedtime a dream. Today, we need an especially loud drum roll as we've had a bumper week for new Coco Club members. So, here's a big warm hello to Harper and Macy, Atticus, Ophelia, Eliza, Maisie, Nadia, Mackenzie, Magnolia, Milo, Cole, Bo, and Bennett. We're so pleased to hear from each and every one of you. Thank you so much for signing up and giving the podcast your ongoing support. Believe me, we'd love to provide a completely free podcast all of the time, but we can't. We dearly need your support so we can keep writing and producing our wonderful weekly stories and meditations. Keep an eye out, though, for next Monday's free episode. If you're one of the many who can't get enough of our lovable, adventurous, doggy duo, Hector and Sonny, you're in for a real treat. Speaking of meditations, though, we're going to enjoy another one tonight from our newest writer, Joel. His last one was Gratitude the Gorilla a few months ago, you may remember it. And tonight's one features our nearest and dearest ancestors again. It's based in a monkey temple, high up on top of a large rocky hill. Once we're there, we'll meet an old monkey who will teach us his powerful wisdom learnt throughout his long life. Our new friend will teach us several lessons, including about different kinds of meditation and, very helpfully, how to meditate. As you spend time in the monkey temple, you will encounter other monkeys and learn valuable lessons about the power of helping others and how to be happy and content within yourself. So, lie down, get comfy and softly close your eyes. Join me as I begin The Mystical Monkey Temple by Joel Pym. Lying in your bed, can you feel how soft the mattress is? Does the blanket feel like it's giving you a big hug? Can you wriggle around a little bit to make sure you're as comfy as you can be? Okay, now, to release any energy left over from your day, give your arms a big shake. Let all that energy out. Shake. And relax. That's right. Now, let's relax our hands and fingers next. Clench your hand into a fist and tighten them as hard as you can. Squeeze. And then with a big sigh, ah, relax your hands back to the mattress. Relax your chest and shoulders now. Letting your muscles have a well-deserved rest. Moving down your body, just like we did with our arms, let's give our legs a big shake. That's right, let all the energy out of them. And relax. Slowly bring your legs back to the mattress and into a comfortable position. Let your body sink into the mattress as you feel your body becoming calmer and calmer. Oh, you feel so warm and cosy, letting your body have the rest that it needs. You've been so active all day. Now is the time to recharge your batteries so you can go again tomorrow. Rest well so that you can be your happy, energetic self tomorrow. With every breath in and out, Feel yourself get more and more sleepy and relaxed. You're now ready for a cosy sleep that will give you the energy to play with your friends and family all day tomorrow. If you feel yourself drifting off, that's fine. Now's the time to get more and more sleepy. Now, with your eyes closed, Imagine yourself deep in the jungle. You're surrounded by trees, big leafy plants, and the sun is shining brightly. 
there's a sweet smell in the air. In front of you, there's a large, light-coloured stone staircase that winds up the side of the hill. Filled with excitement and curiosity, you decide to walk up the staircase and find out what is at the top. You feel a little nervous butterfly flutter in your stomach. You let the butterfly settle there for a minute. You take a deep breath. You move one step forward, then another, then another, and another. Soon you realise that climbing the staircase is not as scary as you first thought. You relax and let the butterfly slowly fly away. As your worry disappears, you feel a surge of confidence and courage come up within your heart. You let it fill you up and start to climb the stairs. You keep your head down, taking each step one by one. You can't wait to see what's at the top. You climb up, up, and up towards the sky. You're getting close to the top of the stairs now. To the side of the staircase, you see a little viewing platform where you can take some time to take in the beautiful surroundings. In the time you've been walking, you have climbed to quite a height. From here, You can see the top of all of the nearby hills, covered with a thick layer of forest. In the distance, you see the sea, with little domed islands just off the coast. You look back to where you started your journey, at the bottom of the stairs. You have come so far. You take a deep breath and enjoy gazing far, far into the distance. As you turn to return to your climb, you spot a figure sitting cross-legged on top of a rock at the edge of the cliff. You see that it is an old monkey, seemingly in deep meditation, completely still, with his eyes closed. He has a slight, inwardly shining smile. The sight takes you by surprise and instantly you feel a sleepy calmness sweep over you. It's as if the meditating monkey is sending calming magic out into the air around him. Slowly, you move closer to the monkey trying not to make a sound and disturb his meditation. The monkey looks so calm and wise, they want to learn more about him. The nervous feeling that you felt at the bottom of the hill has totally disappeared now. Only curiosity and interest are left. Without moving a muscle, The old, wise monkey starts to speak with a soft and gentle voice. Come and sit, he says. I want to teach you how to meditate. You are stunned. How did he know that you were there? He didn't even turn around to see you. You barely made a sound. There's no way that he could know you were there. It must be his meditation magic. Slowly you approach him and sit next to him. He continues to speak with a calm smile. You see, there are many different ways that you can meditate just as there are many ways that you can travel from one place to another. You can travel by bus, bike, car, train, aeroplane and so on. Each one of them gets you to your destination in the end. You just need to know what type of meditation works best for you to feel its magic. Some meditations focus on breathing extra slow. Some meditations, 
you have to concentrate hard on. And some meditations use special words that make you feel nice and calm. Today I'm going to teach you how to do a type of meditation called mindfulness meditation. It works when you carefully notice things that you see, hear, think and feel. You might want to think about the feeling of walking, the feeling of your breathing, or the different parts of your body. Soon you'll feel really calm, just like me. Today we're going to focus on your breath and see what you can notice about each different part of your body. First of all, let's close our eyes and take a deep breath in through our nose and breathe out through our mouth. Feel yourself inflate like a balloon with each breath in and out. As you breathe in, you feel yourself being filled up with happiness and love. Then as you breathe out, you imagine any worries drifting off. It's okay for these thoughts or feelings to come up. Everyone gets a little worried sometimes. Just watch them as they come into your head. Stay around for a little bit and then drift off. It's natural for us to not like some thoughts that come up in our head. Your thoughts don't have to worry you too much. We're watching our thoughts like when we watch a movie at the cinema. We can find the thoughts funny or happy or sometimes a little worried or sad. But thoughts come and go and they may change soon just like the pictures on the screen. Now let's think about how we're feeling right now. That's right. Listen to what your body is telling you. You might feel like you need to itch yourself or move yourself a little bit. That's okay. Now think about whether you can feel anything at the top of your head. Maybe you can imagine that you have a little crown on your head. Take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, imagine that you are relaxing your head. Relax your forehead too. Make sure you aren't frowning. Be calm like the monkey. Now, think about your cheeks, your mouth, and your neck. Say hello and ask them how they're feeling. Take a deep breath in. And as you breathe out, let any worried feelings drift away. Move down to your shoulders, arms, hands, and fingers. Say hello to each part and check how they're feeling too. Next, move down to your chest, your back, your stomach, down to your hips, your legs, your knees, your feet, and finally your toes. How does your body feel now? Is it relaxed? 
Maybe you feel like you're floating, like Zen the pufferfish. Or maybe you feel sleepy, like Hector and Sonny after a long walk. As you emerge back into the world, you look to your right and see the old wise monkey looking back at you with a bright, happy grin on his face. He looks old, but as you look into his eyes, you see a childlike glimmer that is playful and bright. Then he seems to go back into his personal meditation practice closing his eyes and looking straight ahead, just as he was when you found him. Before you could thank him for teaching you how to meditate, he starts speaking again. At the top of this hill, you will find a mystical monkey temple. At the entrance, you will find a monkey called Seva, who will teach you about the importance of helping others. With that, you gratefully thank him for his words of wisdom and turn back towards the track to the top of the hill. As you're walking, you look closely at all of the things in your environment, from the way that the ground feels as you're walking, the bright colours of green, reds and yellows from the wildflowers along the track, the feeling of your breath and your heart beating. You look around with a smile on your face, grateful for the world around you. As you reach the top of the hill, you see a beautiful temple made of white stone. It has brightly coloured flags flapping in the wind and golden statues of people in robes at the entrance. The temple is surrounded by green trees and peaceful gardens. With the sight of the temple, a feeling of calm fills your body again, just as it did when you saw the old monkey for the first time. You realise that this place has something very special about it. Out of nowhere, a young monkey in the same robes as the old wise monkey comes out from behind a large rock and welcomes you with a beaming smile. My name is Seva, he says in a welcoming way. I'm here to show you around our temple and tell you more about our way of life. Follow me and I will show you around. Curious to learn more about these robed monkeys and why they're all so smiley and happy, you follow the young monkey towards the entrance with anticipation. Just outside the entrance, you see a large wheel. The welcoming monk says that you can spin the wheel and make a wish. It takes some time to think about the wish that you want to make. You've got it. A smile effortlessly forms on your face and with all of your might, you give the wheel a big spin. A monk taps you on the shoulder and says to you, Now you must not hold on to this wish. Let it go and the universe will support you to achieve your wish. You nod in agreement, putting your wish to the back of your mind as you continue to follow Seva into the temple. The moment you walk inside the temple, you are hit with the sweet smell of burning incense and the sound of soft chanting. It's a magical place that makes you feel calm and serene. Even with all the movement around the temple, 
everything seems so peaceful. You ask what everyone does all day when they're not meditating. Seva replied with a calm voice. We help people in our local community or anyone else that needs our help. This may be teaching at local schools, cleaning people's houses, getting food for people that can't get it themselves. Things like that. Helping others allows us to spread happiness by helping those in need, with the aim of leaving each moment better than we found it. By doing this, we can create a positive impact on the world, starting with ourselves. We don't do this for anything in return just for the joy that it gives us to help others. We see others as being just as important as ourselves. In that way, it is natural for us to share and help people out. Tomorrow, after your sleep, you can join the monkeys for their day of service, and we can show you what we do in a day. After your day of learning and meeting many wise monkeys, you notice that you are now getting very tired. Seva notices this too and says that he will now show you to your room for the night. As you walk behind Seva, think about what you have learned since climbing the hill to the temple. Thanks to the wise old monkey, you have learnt about the different kinds of meditation and how you can practice it on your own. You also have learnt about the power of helping others from the other monkeys at the temple. As you enter your room, you instantly feel relaxed and ready for bed. You thank Seva for his wisdom, and as soon as he leaves, you jump onto your bed and wrap yourself in the soft cotton sheets. You are ready to drift off into a deep and restful sleep. You close your eyes, and you take a deep breath, allowing yourself to fully relax. Silence falls over the temple as night falls. It is quiet and calm. You enjoy the quietness as a large smile rests on your face. Slowly, you feel yourself drifting into a deep, deep sleep.